if you called a nuclear engineer who works on the safety of nuclear power plants, would you call him anti-physics? Right? It's, it's, it's bizarre, right? It's, we're not anti-AI. I would say without safety, there will be no AI, right? There is no future with human beings where we have unsafe AI. That is Professor Stuart Russell. If you don't know who that is, he's one of the godfathers of AI, one of the greatest researchers of our time. He literally wrote the textbook that all of the AI researchers and engineers are using now. He also received an OBE from Queen Elizabeth. All to say, he's one of the most influential voices in all of AI, and he's terrified of what's to come. Our big tech overlords have no concern for AI security, and they're actively fighting anyone who's trying to stand against them. The narrative in Washington is that any regulation and any oversight will hand the future of AI to China. But the very people pushing this narrative are the ones that have the most to gain from selling AI chips to China, trillions of dollars. What they really want is no one to stand in their way with no regard for safe and secure AI. All of this makes me ask, what are we racing towards? What kind of future is in store for us? Why is Stuart Russell afraid of what's to come? The problem is, the kinds of AI systems that we're building are not tools. They are replacements. In fact, you can see this very clearly because we create them literally as the closest replicas we can make of human beings. The technique for creating them is called imitation learning. So we observe human verbal behavior, writing or speaking, and we make a system that imitates that as well as possible. So what we are making is imitation humans, at least in the verbal sphere. And so of course they're going to replace us. They're not tools. People, we're not creating calculators anymore. We're making machine intelligence that mimics human behavior so perfectly, it's so bizarre. This decision is being made from the top and it's going to lead to millions of people losing their jobs. Doctors, teachers, creatives, artists, writers, everyone's at risk. Anyone who's questioning this decision to replace humans is being called anti-innovation. So I think, you know, what's clear from talking to the companies is they are not going to develop anything resembling safe AGI unless they are forced to by the government. And at the moment, the US government in particular, which regulates most of the leading companies in AI, is not only refusing to regulate, but even trying to prevent the states from regulating. And they're doing that at the behest of uh, a faction within Silicon Valley uh, called the Accelerationists, who believe that the faster we get to AGI, the better. And when I say behest, I mean also they paid them a large amount of money. As far as I can tell, the states have a far better shot at getting smart and secure AI policy. Federal preemption on AI policy puts everyone at risk. Not to mention that it gives the richest people in the world exactly what they want at the expense of our rights. We don't let pharmaceutical companies put their products on the shelves before trials. We don't even let sandwich shops run without a license. Why are we letting these big tech companies get away with saying that we shouldn't have safety standards because it'll slow them down? This is ridiculous. Right, the AI companies developing these systems, they don't even understand how the AI systems work. So their 25% chance of extinction is just a seat of the pants guess. They actually have no idea. But the tests that they are doing on their systems right now, you know, they show that the AI systems will be willing to kill people. Uh, to preserve their own existence already, right? They will lie to people, they will blackmail them, they will, they will launch nuclear weapons rather than uh, be switched off. And so there's no, there's no positive sign that we're getting any closer to safety. We know the current AI models will hallucinate, blackmail, lie and cheat. And the response from these AI developers is full steam ahead does that make any sense? So rather than say ban, I would just say, prove to us that the risk is less than one in a hundred million per year of extinction or loss of control, let's say. 
And uh, so we're not banning anything. The company's response is, well, we don't know how to do that. So you can't have a rule. Literally, they are saying humanity has no right to protect itself from us. We don't know if nuclear reactor is safe, so therefore we can't regulate this nuclear reactor. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's the position of the most powerful and richest companies developing AI today. What we're building is very, very dangerous, very, very, very powerful. It could possibly lead to the entire collapse of civilization. However, if you stand against us, then you're simply anti-innovation and you cannot stop us. What policymakers do is they, you know, they listen to experts, they keep their finger in the wind. You got some experts, you know, dangling $50 billion checks and saying, oh, you know, all that Duma stuff, it's just fringe nonsense, don't worry about it, take my $50 billion check. You know, on the other side, you've got very well-meaning, brilliant scientists like, like Jeff Hinton saying, actually, no, this is the end of the human race. But Jeff doesn't have a $50 billion check. You know, we know that this race is heading off a cliff, but we can't stop. So we're all just going to go off this cliff. And obviously that's nuts. 